Hello everyone, uh, this is Alex for long that I don't make any video. Honestly speaking, I would love to have the opportunity to help you guys more, but my time is really limited, especially now that we are here with this hypothetic invasion, that I use this opportunity to let you know that nothing is as much as the media show. Unfortunately, things are always exacerbated and uh, we live here normal we live here the day-to-day -day life nothing is uh, on the streets that can show us that we are on a conflict on an imminent war uh, and especially for my good american friends the supermarkets have everything there nothing is missing including the toilet paper so to say that uh, even last week i had one of my succeeded cases one of my clients came to ukraine help his wife because he applied for a spouse visa she had the interview she was approved they are heading home so life keeps on obviously i don't want to be irreverent or have no consciousness in terms of saying that something may happen something may happen but if you think we are in war for eight years so it keeps on let's hope and pray that everything will be okay but what uh, brings me today here i just felt motivated one of those emails more from someone that i never met that uh, is not a client uh, though we already exchange emails for about six months is what is something that honestly I try to avoid because it's a very time consuming for me and uh, so most of the times I cannot help because people have fixed ideas, they have expectations, they have dreams and uh, the consciousness and their awareness about what is online dating or dating abroad is unfortunately very far of the reality. And that is exactly why I'm here today for us to speak about online dating that if online dating without perception that is the worst and closest recipe for failure so it is really important that people make their homework and to leave the cyber world to live online to try to find a wife online Honestly speaking, we always look to what are the best testimonials, what the best happened to others, and obviously we expect that will happen to us the same. But unfortunately, succeeded cases in this industry are exceptions to the rule and not the rule. So uh, I hope that what I have to say to you uh, will make some echo in you and you will understand and i will be able to help you what you have to do and what you have to know to succeed on this quest for a bride overseas in another country with a different culture with a different language with different habits and lines of thought that in nothing align with us most often so my main advantage is not because i know much more than you it's just because i'm here for longer and also because i'm older i'm not is not my background in psychology is the fact that i live experience here for 17 years matching people so please understand that my words are not pitch sales i'm a terrible marketing guy uh, normally when I speak with my clients or prospective clients often they say but do you want to sell me something or not because you paint the things difficult because they really are and this is the main advantage is I am a man a foreigner like you with a acceptable age and knowledge and tested and proved um, techniques and methodologies that I would like you to really consider if you want to succeed no matter with whom okay so i would start that online dating is a growing market it's close to three billion a year 
So many people are scammed and leave and curse and say the worst, but nobody make an introspection to understand where the problem started. And normally the problems start with us, with our expectations, with what we want to see that so often, unfortunately, is not what it is. So we reflect on online dating things that we would like to happen to us. But that is a danger. There's no life online. There's no relationships online. And there's a huge uncertainty about what they expect us and who are the persons, especially on the other side of the screen, behind those pictures that put our brains spinning. So this is what I want to explain. It's like you need to really make your homework and understand there are many people that uh, guarantee you something that are many people that may be ready to sell you the dream there are many people that will be willing to explain you all the scams but let's go by parts what is really a dream just a dream is a succession of sensations and uh, emotions ideas images that occur in our mind when we sleep so when we are searching for a wife you, you better not be sleeping okay because it doesn't happen that way and guarantees there are no guarantees a guarantee is a promise that something or someone have certain specific characteristics qualities and that will grant you something can anyone on his own conscience or even me guarantee you something? No, it's impossible because it depends on you and the woman that you choose and you pursue. So you will need to have some help to understand that here things work completely different than you expect. And the reality and perception are completely different rings and perception is on the between so i would tell that the difference between reality and um, fantasy is exactly perception is the way you see the things is the way you want to see the things and please remember that very often things are not as you want them to be so it is possible you can adapt to them, but you need to know what you are doing and with whom you are dealing. Sometimes I use the analogy that many men, unfortunately, they cross the ocean swimming and they reach Ukrainian beach and they die on the beach. Because they stay long on this online dating process. They stay long writing to people that they do not know. On my career here, I met people that spent tens of thousands of dollars on paper letter. I met people that were in a very high position on their country and they end being scammed here and they lost everything till the point of being found homeless on the streets in Ukraine. Never underestimate this. And my word now goes for those of you that already tried and failed. Why you keep on trying the same way? That is insanity. Doing again and again and again the same and expect that something will change. So rule number one, online dating, sending money to anyone here is the beginning of the end. There are scammers is a very tricky environment is like walking a minefield online dating but you need to have someone that you can trust that can help you cross that path because if you trust only on you you are underestimating the power of the dark side of the force we old people know what that means from star wars so i want mainly to create awareness in you do not believe in what you see online because that is there to supposedly guarantee you the dream that you want desperately to pay. 
how many of you look to someone like a matchmaker on my case and they see it is not a cheap thing online dating is cheaper we pay 10 bucks here 20 bucks there but after one year how many hundreds or thousands did you spend you could have started from the beginning with the right food with the right way and this is the message i want you to consider if you never tried do it well from day one and do not listen all those blogs and all those people that burn and burn because bad news unfortunately like now our situation in ukraine how is the good news so if people make blogs and uh, warning you about scams well you need to know but you don't need to be there being fed every week with so many bad news because at certain time you have no hopes or you become suspicious unnecessarily and you start jeopardizing all your future because you manipulate what in your brains what would be a good step-by-step -step prosperous path till you come here and find the right person okay so when we listen people saying bad I always ask these people warn them for what is wrong but above all explain them how to reach the solution they want to find how to understand where are the persons and what they have to do let's not speak what is behind what happened to the others bad because it's negative a negative a try negative and as i used to say even scammers have hearts <laughs> uh, i know for so many years and being the founder of the ukrainian matchmakers alliance having 17 offices here believe me i know many many people and i'm very resourceful here to find whatever i need to help my clients so to say that you need to take that consciousness of understanding what are you proposing yourself to do and that starts by understanding what can you reach in your personal conditions characteristics age financial stage free time all these things count okay this is the reality so the preparation is everything self-analysis is what the most matters here so if you understand who you are and you are reasonable in your expectations you are halfway to succeed but if you want to purchase the dream if you want to believe that all those gorgeous good-looking girls are there in ukraine in despair to get out from here there is no one here in despair to get out from here it's needed a lot to leave family life legacy friends uh, former colleagues from university leave all behind and go live thousands of miles away from their homeland with a stranger so would you do that no as also when i try to make people understand the difficulties and the steps to do this dating abroad just think this way if you are dating or trying to date someone in your city that speaks your language that understands your body language that can read between the lines you will go out with that person and that person alone during one two three months and then after that time you can say i have a girlfriend i have a relationship with this woman so now tell me coming to the other side of the world trying to meet people that do not understand you in most of the cases that think different do not have the same culture do not have the same habits and it's impossible for you to read her or her to read you why this wedding or this bride would be found in a seven days trip it's impossible it doesn't happen so there are the scam because unfortunately we men very often scam ourselves and how we scam ourselves by believing in what we should not believe and then the system 
the online dating, all that pink thing is there to feed what you want to believe. But wait, are you believing in what you should believe? Are you on the right path to achieve what you want? This is the most important. I can invite you to see one of my videos about online dating, how this process really is. It's very easy, just give a look. There is open, it cost me already two YouTube channels closed because people complain. Uh, it's still there and I hope that will be very useful for you because that is how it really exists. So, on my opinion, on my practice, I would like you to understand that there are five steps for you to do this right. The first one, as I said before, is for you to have self-analysis, understand who you are, at what stage in your life you are, what is your financial capacity to come and go from your country to Ukraine and back, how much that costs, money and time consuming. Don't start what you cannot finish. It's needed always to exist a goal. And above all, see if the person that you want or you desire or you would like to have as your partner is not someone that have an age close to your children. Because that happened a lot. And that is something that only the online dating make you believe that is true. Okay? It doesn't happen that way. So, on the other side is to choose wisely. That's what it is. You need to be wise. Wisdom is something very important. We used to say that the wisdom of the women are the beauty for all we all fall, but the beauty of the man is to be wise. So, be wise and you are on the good path. Choose well. Then, have someone here that can legitimately bias free tell you that the, your choices are correct. Someone that have an independent analysis between what you want versus what you can achieve. Often I need to bring people to reality. And I give you a very simple example. I challenge you go to any of these websites those that at least have testimonials, not text written because anyone can write texts, but see videos and especially with men and women there that they are happily married. Is how many of those women you see on those testimonials that you would desire to have for yourself? You will find normal people, normal guys with normal women. You will never find the old fat slob guy with a gorgeous 25 years younger model. Doesn't happen. So, going that way is the beginning of the end. So after having this conscient choice and after having a feedback, it's important that you go on camera. No letters, please, no letters. If you cannot afford anything else, only if you will be online feeding your ego or unfortunately what happened to so many that are alone and loneliness is really an enemy and it feeds the beast and lead people to go online and purchase tiny doses of dopamine and is addictive is a mental disease for many people to date online the same as gambling online is all mental disease and this doesn't help you because you only will have bad experiences you only will have bad results and this will start to transform you and every time you will be more hurted you are more far from achieving what you want i can give you a simple example happened to men happened to women i know many scammers on this industry girls and guys that write letters to many of the men out there after three or four years doing this because it's well paid according to the standards of ukraine a girl of 18 can make more money in five hours a day than the father and the mother having an honest hard-working job so it's very attentive for them 
but these girls and guys after a couple of years they are deformed they cannot have a normal relationship especially the women they discredit men drastically they will treat any man as a product because it's her tool to make money they can listen anything you want to say any ugly attitudes that unfortunately many men have online written or in camera and is a terrible vaccination for a future happy healthy relationship they become immune to feelings and along with that they become stones and they can never ever be happy in their lives i had opportunity to have some of these scammers that work online proposing me to save some of the guys out from the internet people that they feel really bad that they are there because they understand that those guys are good guys are honest people with honest intentions and they have everything to succeed but they just felt on the net and the net will destroy them so i'm often asked to save people from there honestly speaking i confess i tried several times I wrote to men out of the blue and said, I am this person, I'm completely identified online. I know where you are, which website, writing to whom. You are being scammed and here are the proofs. Never ever any of these men became my client. Maximum it happened, they left that website and went to another. It really is disappointing. Or worst, they go back to the site and they complain that some guy appears saying that she's a scammer. <laughs> I don't know, but honestly speaking, some people deserve it. Because everybody fails, we all fail. Errarum humano est. It's our prerogative to make mistakes, but it's also our obligation to learn from them. So at the first time everybody falls. At the second, not all, but at the third one, honestly speaking, and to be humble is not being smart, that guy, for sure. So, if you cannot learn with the lessons, you start to go on the direction that is not recoverable, is not possible anymore. So, please avoid these painful ways. We always think we are smarter than the others. Shit only happened to others. No, it happened to us and we also make mistakes if you are not aware and if you don't study where you want to step forward and understand if you can reach what you want. So, last two steps from the five that I have on my strategy. The fourth one is go online, speak with those women face to face understand that they look like on the pictures understand that the motivation that they have to be there with you is legit and sincere if this will happen ask their personal contacts if you are dealing with an honest company they will give you those contacts and you will be be able to speak with them on their facebook instagram whatsapp you need to have this is a vital key you need to speak with them freely, independently, and in privacy, obviously. You cannot start to step on the more intimate conversation if you are depending on a translator. You will listen the interpretation of the translator. You will never understand the right words and the meaning of the words of the woman that you want to have the relationship. Obviously, most many of you will say, well, but in Ukraine, women do not speak English. Yes, it's true. It's only 20% of everything you see online. 20% can speak English in an independent, self-sufficient way. All the rest is this scourge of needing to have a translator. But tell me, guys, when we used to go to the movie with a girl and a friend, do we score? No. When you go out, we do it and catch any. So, you always have to try to have someone that 
can minimally speak with you and understand you. I'm not against using a translator. If it's a temporary thing, if you, the woman that you choose is making all her efforts to learn and fighting to be able to have an understanding in privacy with you. So last step, the fifth one, obviously, is to come here. You cannot stay forever online. There's no relationships online. They do not grow online. They do not develop. And they just tend to fade away. Because you both are strangers to each other. And then guys may say, it happened to me often, oh, she's not replying, she is too busy. It's not too busy. When we want to do it, we do it. If you want to find the time, we find the time. Even if you sit in the toilet, you can have one minute to make a text, uh, send a text message. If they don't do it, please read the acts. The facts speak for itself. There are no fancy, colorful, sugar-coated words that can delete the meaning of acts. So acts is everything that you need to pay attention to. So once again, if not it, nothing faded away during this process of one, two to three months, no more than that, exhaust the uh, subjects to speak about. You cannot spend months asking how is the weather down there and telling what you are going to do today and what you made yesterday. They are strangers to you and you to them again. They will not have patience to feed that conversation just because you are lonely back their home. They have lots of things to do here. Even if they don't work, you know, women, they have strange priorities. They always find things to do and you will always reach the point that you feel definitely not her priority because she writes you last when she has nothing to do. Okay? And all this that I forgot to say, if here in Ukraine is four in the morning and you are writing to her from the States with a seven, six or eight hours time difference, <laughs> please just, just see the fact is not her there. Only someone paid can be awakened at four in the morning to write back to you. Because with all respect, you are nobody to them. Only a stream revenue for the agencies that practice paper letter. But for the girl, she even may not ever saw your picture even. So, fifth step, come here. Because now you pass all the four steps to guarantee you at least 50% that you will succeed. You analyze who, what and who you can meet and can be a match to you. You select it well and wisely. You went and check online and spoke with them online and they were willing to give you their contacts and you lately kept on talking with them privately with no middlemen just taking the temperature taking the pulse understanding if they are really willing to meet you and if they are they will not stay waiting forever so fifth step come here have someone to support you come see them face to face because there are no chemistry online and that you only can find it when you sit in front of the person. And by experience, often the number one doesn't finish to be the number one and the number two become the number one. Why? Because she's so um, grateful, she's so uh, easygoing, she's so funny. Time pass, we have a hell of the time, even with the difficulties in our communication because of a bad English. This is chemistry growing that you only can find it here. So I don't say come running, but come as soon as you have the guarantees to come. If you went through the step by step that is vital and there's no other way around. If you try a way around, if you try a shortcut, you have 90% of chances that you are going to fail. So start with the right foot so you finish well do it slowly so you get it done fast that's what it is i hope that all my uh, sharing today and my ideas wake you up those of you that want to do it well and they are going to start and 
for the other ones that are already there grabbed to the net inside the web please get out from that or you will never succeed you are just wasting your money your expectations and often self-esteem be a man be wise think well make assertive decisions and find information do your homework check what you are doing don't fall in love with pictures don't die writing to pictures thank you for listening to me and i hope that this will make a difference in your future dating abroad thank you so much